Welcome to another run on American Truck Simulator. Um, you might have seen from the uh, background screen, got a new skin. So, um, yeah. And there it is. Decided to do the um, Pork Chop Express from Big Trouble Little China. Um, but we're going uh, from Pendleton to Salem, Oregon. Got a load of scrap cars. But anyways, so yeah, um, got the idea from that mo uh, the video I did, Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure if they're going to plan on remaking it or not. Um, there was a plan of it anyway. Um, but here we go. This is what we got. Um, obviously, the original truck was a um, FLC 120, um, and this is a 389. Um, I had seen in a truck show a uh, 3D9 done up like the Pork Chop Express, um, but I took uh, some of my own liberties with it. Um, did the stripes on the fenders, just kind of match. Do something a little bit different. Um, I do have the Jack Burton trucking on there, the Pork Chop Express, and something on the back of the sleeper, which we're going to take a look at now. that going on in the back so obviously that wasn't on the real truck or on the movie truck and it wasn't on the one that I saw um, at the show either but hopefully we'll get a little bit better look at it got the Jack Burton trucking on the side of course pork, pork chop express and stuff um, but yeah just decided to do that skin um, I didn't notice until <laughs> I got recording um, yeah, this site's kind of fucked up. So, uh, the skin's still going to be released and everything else. I'm not going to worry about, um, fits and all of that. Um, just because it's like, what do you do? Um, it's not, won't be centered on the door. and It'll be smaller on one side than the other. Yeah, fuck it. I, I'm not going to worry about, uh, dicking around doing all that stuff. Um, but anyways, like I said, we're in Pendleton, Oregon. We're going up to... Um, going to Salem, or down to Salem, I should rather say. Uh, so it's supposed to take four hours and twenty minutes. Um, so we've got laying in at uh, thirty-eight thousand eight hundred thirty pounds. Going to Schneider Steel over there. Um, plenty won't have to rest anytime soon, so we should be good all there. Uh, plenty of time to make the run. So, on the inside, changed the lights and the gauges and stuff to blue to match. Of course, blue uh, knob and everything. Um, but yeah. So far, pretty happy. Skin didn't turn out too terribly bad. So, <laughs> aside from a few other things. But uh, I'm going to shut up. We're going to get going on the road here. Yeah, got the idea. I thought, what the hell, I'll make one. Um, I had seen some for Vipers 39, um, but I hadn't really seen one for um, the SCS 389 or the or one that'll work with the 
uh, Pete 379 JP add-on pack which I got so I decided what the hell let's make skin you know make old Jack Burton proud <laughs> uh, you know what uh, old Jack Burton says at a time like this what the hell <laughs> but uh, yeah just uh, thought I'd do one up and pleasantly surprised how it turned out I mean normally you know my MO it's a uh, black truck <laughs> um, but I do have all kinds of skins out and so once again I've said in other videos thank you for uh, downloading and using the skins uh, like I said before I won't ever keep a skin private so um, yeah this will get released too no exceptions no difference Yeah, one of uh, one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, I don't know, a lot of you have seen it out. A lot of you have probably seen it. Um, and if you haven't seen it, uh, what are you doing with your life, bro? <laughs> um, it's just a awesome movie. It's classic, man. Got to go check it out. So. But. Um, yeah, it's uh, one of my all-time favorites, and actually, um, my uh, my wife and I, the first time she uh, stayed over at my place, we uh, we watched it because uh, I have it on DVD. So, um, found it in Walmart in the f I think it was a five-dollar DVD bin. So, you might get lucky, you might find it there. Otherwise, I know you can uh, get it online all kinds of places and probably eBay or Amazon be your best bets there um, although there is a uh, thing called trucker flicks um, I think it's like truckerflicks.com or something like that um, but yeah I uh, got it at Walmart but anyways um, so first time my wife uh, stayed over at my place um, yeah, that's that's the movie we watched together. She's like, I'm like, well, what do you wanna, what do you wanna watch? And she's like, well, she's like, I, I like kind of you know the older '80s movies and stuff like that, like Top Gun, which I, I might catch some flack here when I say this, but uh, I absolutely fucking hate that movie. I don't like Days of Thunder. Um, mostly because I cannot fucking stand Tom Cruise. I think he's a douchebag. Um, <laughs> so, uh, hopefully I won't get too much hate for that one. But, uh, <laughs> um, but no, the, the first night she stayed over, we watched that movie. And so it's just one of those things we, uh, we watch together every once in a while just to, um, more or less kind of reminisce. So, um, I mean, granted, my wife is, and I, we've only been together for two and a half years, I guess. Um, but yeah, we got married last summer, so um, this summer will be a year uh, being married in August and three years together. So, but uh, yeah, one of those one of those movies that we've always enjoyed watching together. Um, it's one of our. Uh, one of our favorite movies we like to watch together. So, um, this is one of those things that, um, you know, it's just always kind of, uh, might be kind of stupid or whatever, but, you know, uh, a lot of other people are like, oh, yeah, this movie is our favorite, you know, our movie and, and stuff like that. But, uh, no, it's, it's, it's big trouble in little China for us. <laughs> as, uh, as goofy as that sounds. Um, but it, like I said, you know, it's just always been one of those movies that we always like to watch together and everything. Uh, just simply because, it, you know, that was the first movie that uh, we watched together and 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 stuff like that. So, um, but no, the the wife and I really we do like to uh, do like to watch a lot of movies and stuff together. Um, and I'll get back to the Big Trouble in Little China in in a minute here. But just let me ramble. Um, but uh, no, we like to watch a lot of movies together and TV shows, and of course she likes to watch her Vampire Diaries, and then there's originals, and then Descendants, and it's 
it's, it's just yeah, the same shit, different episode, different TV show name. Um, which I'll be honest with you, not really into it. Not into it at all. I don't really like it. It's very predictable. The same bullshit over and over and over again. Oh my God, we gotta save this person from being killed because uh, they they know something or whatever. It's yeah. I, I'm <laughs> not a huge fan of those shows. Um, watched uh, Gangland Undercover. That's the thing. Of course, you know we we always you know watch stuff separately too. You know, if one of us is not home, so you know I, I watched uh, Gangland Undercover about uh, Charlie Falco, and we'll talk about that stuff in a different episode probably. But um, then I've uh, been catching up on Mayans. Um, season two has been on Hulu for a while, um, so just been kind of watching that. I think. Uh, I watched five episodes. I'm on episode six of the second season, I believe. Um, so I just been waiting until it comes to Hulu and and watch there. Um, I love the show Minds. It's a great, great show. I really do enjoy watching it. Um, so it's it's one of those one of those shows I just like watching. Um, I actually honestly believe it's I, I like it a little bit better than Sons actually. So. Um, yeah, I better slow down here. But, um, yeah, been catching up on that, so, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those things, like I said, you know, um, big trouble in little China, we'll get back to that. Um, like I said, it is just one of those movies that we, we both definitely enjoy watching. Um, you know, just... Of course, when that movie came out um, in '86, of course, I'm guessing it was filmed in '85, which is why the uh, Frightliner was <coughs> the Frightliner FLC 120 was a '85 uh, model. Um, when that movie came out in '85 or in '86, um, coincidentally the same year my brother was born. Um, of course, I was born four years later. But uh, anyways, yeah, when in '86 when that came out. Um, it was a pretty big box office flop. Um, it didn't do very well. It didn't do very well at all. Um, and so they were pretty concerned about that. But then when it came out to video, um, people were buying it left and right. And it did really well. Um, after it came out, um, to, uh, to VHS, you know, some of us old fogies know about that. <laughs> Not necessarily, I guess I'm an old fogey. Uh, <laughs> gonna only be turning 30 in a couple months. But uh, when when that movie came out, you know, it it didn't do worth shit at all. I mean, it, it literally just flopped. Um, so, you know, they were having that kind of concern. Um, sweet, I can bypass. Um, so that was kind of a concern for him. Uh, but like I said, you know, when it came to DVD, or DVD, came to VHS, um, you know, a lot of people bought it, and it made a lot, a lot of money that way, so, you know, lo and behold, you know, a number of years later, they decide, you know, what if we bring this to DVD, you know, um, maybe we can, we can, you know, make, sell a DVD like it did with uh, VHS, and lo and behold, you know, a load of people bought it on DVD, so, um, yeah. I was watching an interview with uh, Kurt Russell, and like I said, uh, he he said he always knows his his fans what fans he's gonna like better, just simply because if they know uh, uh, Big Trouble in Little China and if they like it, he said those are the fans I know I'm gonna get along with. Those are the fans I like the most, um, because he said at that time doing that movie, you know he had, he'd done a few movies and and. He's, you know, still trying to keep moving forward and, you know, catching his big break. And, you know, John Carpenter had a lot to do with that, honestly. Um, you know, he had to escape from New York, um, which I have never seen. Um, I'd really like to see that movie. I've heard it's pretty sweet. Um, but he, he basically, when he did that movie, he had Kurt Russell in mind. And 
However, um, um, Clint Eastwood um, was was an option that they were thinking of on that one, and I don't know. As much as I, I love Clint Eastwood movies, um, I love all of his movies. I grew up watching his movies, um, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But for me personally, I think Kurt Russell is a lot better fit. Um, just because you had to have that goofy element, you had to have that, you know, the humor and stuff like that, which it's not that, um, Clint Eastwood doesn't have that, I, I just, yeah, Kurt Russell is, is definitely a, uh, better fit to play Jack Burton in my opinion, um, which is why, you know, it comes back to that, well, when they go to remake it, it'd be nice if they kind of kept it that way. Um, and I love The Rock, don't get me wrong, but uh, casting him for Jack Burton, I don't know that that's necessarily the greatest thing. I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, maybe maybe when it comes out, it'll be a, it'll, you know, be a different story. Maybe he'll just knock it out of the park. Um, because if you've ever seen the movie Snitch, or if you've ever seen the movie, um, which Snitch, he plays a truck driver, and he can't really use his fists, it's not a typical rock movie, and don't get me wrong, he can act, he can act very well, um, like that movie Snitch, or um, the movie Faster, he can do a lot of acting with just his facial expressions, with just his eyes, you know, he's... He's a pretty good actor, but like I said, you know, for me, I, I just feel like there needs to be somebody Kurt Russell-ish, you know, in there, and that's why I said, you know, like Scott Eastwood or, um, you know, like I said, even Zac Efron, you know, we're, we're trying to go for that, um, that typical, uh, he doesn't have to be built, he doesn't have to be buff, you know, just your everyday American, you know, kind of like you know, that movie really was, you know, it was just your average guy, you know, coming into town, hanging out with some friends, next thing you know, some shit goes down, and, you know, he's tossed in the middle of it, and he's like, you know what, we, we gotta do this, we gotta fight, we gotta, we gotta make things right, we gotta, we gotta do what we gotta do, so, you know, something like, like that, you know, um, or even, I, I think, James Franco might be a, a, a good option, um, or Dave Franco, you know, one of, the, one of the Franco brothers, I think, would uh, would um, be a good option. Um, just simply because they fit that and, you know, that kind of stuff. But you're never going to get another Kurt Russell. It's not going to happen. Um, no matter how hard you try, Kurt Russell's a league of his own. <laughs> always will be. Um, he, he's always... In my opinion, he's one of my favorite actors. I just, I really enjoy watching his movies. Um, the movie Bone Tomahawk that he was in, that was a really fucked up movie. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not telling you necessarily to go check it out. For me, that movie, Bone Tomahawk, was it good? Yeah. Um, could have been done better? Mm, I suppose. I mean, it's an indie film. Um... I did like the movie. Um, a little gory, a little too fucked up for me to really be like, oh yeah, I gotta watch that movie again. Which, don't get me wrong, I've got it on DVD. I, I don't mind watching it once in a while. Um, but it's not one of my favorites. Um, I just... Oh shit. But, um... No, Kurt Russell, to me, has always been, um, been a good actor. And I've always liked it. Um, he's done a lot of, a lot of really good stuff, obviously, like Tombstone. Um, that one, uh, he's pretty well known for. Um, but, you know, he's, he's done a lot of, a lot of pretty good, pretty good films. Um, another one to check out, um, if you have the Pluto app, which, um, is another free one, and there's all kinds of really good stuff on there. Let's so talk more about Pluto, um, when I get talking about Gangland Undercover. Um, but that's another free one. Um, 
watch all kinds of stuff, but uh, his movie um, Dark Blue is on, on Pluto. And, you know, uh, he's uh, he plays a, a cop on that one, and I don't want to give it away. It's just a really, really good movie. Um, so if you got two, or you got a Roku, go ahead and get to uh, Pluto. Um, although I think you can get it on your phone too, so you can go ahead and check that one out. Um, but yeah, Dark Blue, it's a it's a really really good movie. I don't know if it's very well known necessarily, but it is a good film. I really do enjoy watching that one. Um, lots of twists and turns and plot twists and everything else, and I was like, wow, this is pretty good. But yeah, Big Trouble in Little China. That was one of those. Uh, movies that um, he just more or less did it whatever like I said didn't didn't do very well um, box office but like I said uh, DVD and uh, VHS and then later DVD um, sales did did really really well so And he said it was one of those movies at the time, you know, being where he was at in his life, you know, the movie didn't do so well, but you know, then after everything picked up, you know, VHS wise and everything else, he's like, it was literally one of my favorite movies to make. He said, he said he never had more fun just doing a goofy movie like doing that one. Um, he said, looking back, he's like, it's one of the greatest things he's ever done. He's not well known for it, but he's like it was one of his favorite, absolute favorite movies to make. You know, even with uh, being sick throughout the movie and and uh, obviously not you know flopping in the box office. Um, he said it was he said still it was one of his absolute favorites that he did, and he said he was really glad he did the movie. Oh shit, we got some traffic coming up. Uh, but yeah, he said, you know, the, the, the truck in the movie um, is uh, FLC-120 Freightliner. Um, when I go to redo the movie, um, like I said, you know, in, in my last video, I'm, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing it as a 3D9. I know that's going to piss a lot of people off, and, you know, that's not originally what it was, and blah, 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 blah. Well, how many FLC-120s are going to be out there? that people are going to be like, yeah, go ahead and make a movie with it. Or, you know, and stuff like that. So, that presents another challenge. Um, I would think anyways, I'm not real sure, but yeah, there's plenty of 389s running around. Um, and I think it would be really cool uh, to use that. It, it does look a lot, you know, a 389 is going to be a newer truck, is, is going to be as close to that as you're going to find. I mean... Uh, classic, you know, the looks wise. Um, or you could use a 379. Um, you could do that, do it that way. Um, I guess if you were going to use a Peterbilt, I'm not saying you have to. I just think it would be cool to use that. I mean, Peterbilts have been used a lot, a lot of films. Um, but, you know, a Coronado wouldn't be bad. I'd have no problem with that. They used Coronados in the movie Snitch. Um, they used a Freightliner Classic in one of the later Die Hard movies, so, you know, a classic, I wouldn't be opposed to that, you know, that would be, that would be kind of cool. Um, I mean, even if you were even going to go with an FLD-120, is that where I got it? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's That's right on. Oh, okay. Um, duh, steel place, uh, <laughs> scrapyard, whatever. Um. But yeah, I, I wouldn't be opposed to that at all. But like I said, for the love of fucking God, do not use a Cascadia. Maybe I'll catch some heat. Maybe I'll catch some hate. I'm just saying it's my opinion. If you like the Cascadia, you know, all the power to you. You know, there's a lot of people don't like these 389s. Um, but for me personally, I do not like the Cascadia whatsoever. I, I, they're ugly. Uh, I, they haven't had a shit ton of issues with them, I guess, but for me personally, no, 
I would never, never be like, oh yeah, and have a huge heart on for a casket. You know? I, oh shit. What are you doing here? <laughs> Making Jack Burton look like a dumbass. <laughs> um, I guess it's down to this one. Oops. Um, but yeah, Cascadia, no. No, 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 no. And don't be using the Volvo, you know. Um, Volvos are a nice truck, too, from, from what I understand. Um, but if you want to keep, you know, the way the kind of like, you know, the way the original movie really was, you kind of want to use something with a little more classic look. Let's see where they're going to put us at here. And of course, <laughs> what is it with me and fences? Son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> God damn. I have, I have issues with fences. <laughs> But yeah, definitely uh, cool with how the skin turned out. <laughs> is, it not, is it a perfect match? No, but it's pretty pretty fucking close. Like if Jack Burton had a son, <laughs> this is probably what he'd be rolling with. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, that's, like I said, still one of my all-time favorite movies. And I know a lot of people like that movie. I know a lot of people dig on that movie. So... I know I'm not alone, um, but to hear that, you know, that's kind of my wife and I's movie might catch you by surprise. But, um, hey, and, and with that, I'm just glad uh, my wife decided that uh, Weirdo Like Me was uh, somebody she wanted to be with, <laughs> let alone Mary. <laughs> I, I honestly feel sorry for my wife sometimes. <laughs> I have to put up with my dumb ass. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's... It's definitely a, uh, I guess you'd call it a cult classic, I'm not really sure, but, um, we're fucking this one up. Let's see if we can get this more centered where we're supposed to be here. One of the easiest places to drop off a load and dinking around here. centered will it take it yeah but you know I'm trying to be professional here like Jack Burton <laughs> there we go like I said using third person's kind of cheating but you know hey whatever I've even heard of truck drivers so far as flying drones to help them get into tight places and stuff so they can kind of watch their their camera and on the on the drone there and kind of help them get where they need to go make, make you know moves and stuff so i don't know it's like i told my first wife honey i never drive as fast more than i can see it's all in the reflexes <laughs> or however the quote is <laughs> but yeah we're over here got her dropped off safe and sound um, so yeah I obviously need another flatbed loading but hey I love pulling flatbed it's one of my favorites um, but that's just how it worked out but uh, new skin um, like I said this, was, this will be released um, so don't worry on that. Um, I got you. Uh, it'll it'll be really so you guys can get a hold of it too and do some Jack Burton shit. Um, <laughs> on a dark and stormy night. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyways, 
thank you guys for the love. Thanks for the video watches, video views, and stuff. Um, really do appreciate that. Um, but uh, anyways, um, we're gonna be we're over here and got her in here safe and sound. And hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the skin. Um, some of you guys probably won't probably won't uh, use it or whatever. But um, maybe for you guys that are fans of um, Big Trouble in Little China, uh, it'll be right up your alley. So, till the next run, guys, uh, take it easy. I, like I said, do appreciate it. So, till then, guys, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and stuff. I know I'm rambling here. Um, but, uh, yeah, next run, we're going to use the Jack Burton skin again, the old pork chop press again, so, no, uh, no worries about that. We're going to use it again here. Probably another video at least. Uh, maybe another couple more videos. Maybe another three videos. I don't know yet. I haven't decided, but I am really digging on it. And I really do enjoy using it. So, till the next episode, guys. Take it easy.